Hello there, Mr. Rashford. My name's Dr. Mishra. I'm one of the psychiatrists that work here on the inpatient oh, unit. Uh, I've come to speak to you today about um, your son, Brian. Um, yeah, Brian, I, I came in earlier. I looked at him and yeah, I know he's just come in to change his antidepressants, but he's looking really physically unwell. Okay, What's yeah. going on? Yeah, no, I, I, no I, um, I share your concern and that's why I wanted to, to speak to you today quite urgently. No, thanks, him. thanks. Um, so, I mean, what would help me is just, just sharing with your understanding as to why... Um, yeah, Brian's in hospital. You 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 said that um, he was having a switch in his antidepressants. Yeah, I heard the consultant yeah. was saying he was on Prozac and mm. it didn't seem to be very effective. Yes. So yeah. they're moving him on to a new one, which yeah. actually we pinned our hopes on it. You know, oh, yeah. it might be the right solution. Okay. Yeah. That, that's 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 absolutely correct. So he was on a medication called Prozac, and the yeah. plan was to switch him to this to this new medication, then the vaccine. Yes. Yes. And once he was um, when he was admitted onto the ward. The, the plan about switching the antidepressant has to be done has to be done safely and, and um, looking at how Brian was managed that was all done uh, absolutely correctly so he was his his the dosage of his Prozac was lowered whilst the the Benlafaxid was introduced okay. um, uh, to to make that switch safely uh, but Brian has developed a, a complication from from that switch. Um, so, um, so I can I can obviously explain what this complication is. Um, would you have to know how antidepressants might work at all? Not in uh, detail, okay. I suppose. If anything, it's just to me, it's like happy chemicals. That's that's you know, that's helps. yeah, that that's absolutely correct. So right. yeah, so so um, so both um, uh, Prozac and Venlafaxine look at trying to increase the amount of, of certain chemicals in the brain yeah. that we know yeah. um, are responsible for improving mood. Um, uh, and so on, and, and so the d don't worry about the name of the chemical, but the, the, the one of the common chemicals is called serotonin. Uh, and what's happened um, in Brian's case is that as he's been moved from fluoxetine to the new medication, yeah. the vaccine, there's been an excessive amount of that's caused an excessive amount of, of serotonin in the brain, and that's led to the to the to the the symptoms that he's been suffering okay. with and why he's so unwell at the moment. Now the the reason I wanted to speak to you urgently about it is that we do class it as a as a medical emergency. All oh, right. So we do need to 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 move move quickly, which we have done because it's we've recognised that this has happened early, and obviously Brian is in the has been in the correct place for this. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, so our plan is obviously to stop all the medications that he's taking. That's the first thing that uh, that, okay. I, that that we've done. Uh, and that we're now arranging for him to be transferred over to the to the local medical ward, just so that um, uh, he can have some further tests, uh, just to ensure that there's nothing else um, obviously going on. So you'll have a an X-ray of his chest, uh, just a tracing of his heart, uh, and then they will continue to monitor his his heart rate, his blood pressure, and, and temperature, uh, and they can do that really because they have more more facilities there to okay. to monitor his physical yeah, yeah. health. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so we've we've caught it early and stopped the medication. And what we know with this condition that um, as the levels of this chemical serotonin reduce in his system, the 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 aim is that over the next forty eight to seventy two hours he he will slowly he will start to to improve. Oh, that's good. Um, so it's not it's not side effects from this new drug. Then that's it's it's not it's, it's not a side effect specifically per se to venlafaxine, but it's been a, a complication of, okay, no, of, 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 of the swapping over. The change over. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. So, um, is there anything else you wanted? To, uh, <coughs> anything else you wanted to ask at all? Um, I don't. I, you know, as I said, we, we pinned our hopes on venlafaxine, and the real mm -hmm. thing for me is, from what you say, you hope he's going to get better. Mm -hmm. um, will he still be able to take? This new drug, which which we think sounds good. Okay, no, that, that, that that's a that's a fair question. So so once um, once Brian's physical symptoms have have resolved on the ward, yeah. then we would need we would take advice obviously from from the medical team looking after him, the the hospital pharmacist, uh, and would would need to look at what what would be the next appropriate step. Now, ideally, um, if we feel that if this was a complication of of the switchover. Then we could look at um, retrialing um, Brian on the vaccine again, okay. but we would need to do that whilst he's still uh, an inpatient on on on, on the uh, on the ward here in the hospital, um, and we would we would need to be looking at really starting on the lowest possible dose uh, of this medication and and increasing it a lot slower than we normally would, 
to ensure that um, there's no recurrence really safe, okay. um, of any of any of these um, of any of these symptoms. Does that does that make sense? Yeah, I'm still obviously pretty worried yeah. about him because you said it's. Did you say it's a medical emergency? That's correct. Yeah. So 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 as as I said, that's why I wanted to speak to you urgently about. It. No, I'm very um, I'm pleased you did. Thank you okay. very much. Okay. Um, but uh, but so I want want to reassure you. Just to summarise that um, that we've 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 caught it early, good, um, and that um, he's the, the reasons that he is um, he is has been unwell is because of a a complication of of the switchover from yeah, the, the two yeah. medications that we attempted to do safely uh, whilst he was on the ward. Um, he will be transferred over to a medical unit uh, where they will just continue to monitor his his physical symptoms, yeah. um, and the plan is over the next forty eight to seventy two hours. As the levels of this chemical um, continue to to reduce, that he will slowly start to, to feel better. Good, good. And then, and then after that stage, um, we can we can then reconsider whether uh, a retrial of venlafaxine is is the next appropriate step. Okay, thanks. So, okay. Uh, when when do you think I better see him again? Well, what I think what well, once he's transferred over to the to the medical ward. Um, you, I, I'm, I'm sure that you'd be able to, to visit him there um, as soon as he's, as soon as he's, he's been transferred. Um, so I can let the nursing staff know um, let, let, let the nursing staff know about your, your wishes as well. Thank you. That's good. Okay. So um, once he's back here on the on the on the, the, the psychiatric ward, we'd be obviously happy to answer any other questions. Of course, that yeah, yeah. You might have. Sure. Okay. Thank you very much. No, that's useful. Thank you very much, Doctor. Okay.